It's really been a terrific day to have an opportunity to be out with our stars of our program, our head coaches, and to be able to engage so many different constituents, business leaders, donors, sponsors, people that really make our program grow. And it's really important for them to understand how much they inspire our coaches. Because our coaches really talk about selling them in, in the recruiting process and in the process of building our program. And it is truly a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder effort. So it's been incredibly inspiring to be able to hear stories and encouragement and support that means so much to our coaches and ultimately to our entire program. So it's been a terrific first day and we're looking forward to seeing so many other parts of the state over the next four days. Hi, this is BG Brooks from CUBuffs.com. The CU Coaches Caravan is underway. We were off and running or busing Monday in Boulder. Stop one on Monday was at IBM where the caravan was given a tour. Then it was on to Longmont where Lala Jean Stewart hosted an event at the Longmont Museum and Cultural Center. Our third stop was lunch at the Ptarmigan Country Club in Fort Collins where the coaches addressed the crowd and Mike McIntyre explained the pistol offense. We visited the Well County Garage in Greeley which is the oldest General Motors dealer west of the Mississippi. Then it was on to the Pioneer Press in Greeley, which preceded the next to the last stop of the day at the Boulder Boulder store. Tad Boyle registered for the race. Here's a hint, he's not running in the A-Wave. And finally, there was happy hour at Ted's Montana Grill on Pearl Street, where about 100 CU supporters gathered. The Buffs continue to stampede the state Tuesday in Denver and wrap it up on Friday in Grand Junction. This is BG Brooks, the CUBuffs.com.